Hey guys, what's up? This is Chris from FGOGuide.com. Today's video is here to help you with the Downtown Cat Mega Collection. I'm going to show you some spawn points for the cats, give you a few tips and some strategies for collecting the cats along the way. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So here in front of Quahog Police Station, this area right here is a common spawn point for a cat. This is an easy one, just probably the closest one to when you first uh, arrive in Quahog or in downtown rather. Uh, let's see, we'll go down the street here by the cop. Hey, how's it going? Uh, one thing I want to point out is the zoom levels. Uh, you'll want to take those into effect in trying to find cat cats. When you're zoomed in like this, it's going to be harder to find cats versus being zoomed all the way out like this. That's going to make things a little more easier to find. Uh, let me show you, give me an example. Um, like right here for the ledge on the restaurant. When you're zoomed all the way in, it's going to be a little harder to see, a little more difficult to find a cat, or even easier just to miss and not even realize it's up there. Versus when you actually, especially on the, the roof here, if when you zoom out, it's going to be a lot easier to see those things from a distance and be able to find those cats. Let's see, which route do I want to go? Well, there's a cat right here, uh, right here on the garbage cans. Grab this one. Buzzing. <laughs> I got a stray cat. Good times. So uh, I'm gonna head to the north side of town. Uh, there's one up here uh, by the the Happy Greek right here on this corner right here. I'm gonna show you. Hopefully he'll be there today. Yeah, there he is. So here's another one. Um, I think. I mean, they spawn in random locations. Uh, Sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. So the point is we're going to go through and show you a lot of these locations. So when they're not there, you can keep going and find the places that they are at. So over here, uh, he's not here today, but right here where my mouse is, uh, is another common point for them to spawn at. The idea is you don't want to wait at a spawn point. You want to keep going and go along because they're not going to pop up uh, that often. You have more luck just going in between spawn points looking for them. Um, coming up here, there's another one. This is a good example of camera angles and whatnot. Uh, above this little uh, window air conditioner thing right here, there's oftentimes a cat there. Most people don't see it because of the camera angle. Uh, and in addition, it's very hard to get when you can see it. Uh, so a little tip for that is to get as close as you can to the sidewalk here. We'll drag the uh, camera view up with our mouse and then that'll like it to... Uh, click on him just be careful because yeah right here you see I panned up just a little too much and the camera goes into the ground it's bad times so just got to be careful with it and let's see right here on top of the trash cans another popular spawn point um, I don't see them there as much or as often but uh, I do see them there right here right in this little corner here I see cats there quite a bit and let's see over here in this lawn area, right around here, there's usually one, a little gray one. Um, oh, there's another one. Um, right here is another spot. He's there, so we'll pick him up. Two times. Then there's another one here, uh, another point with the views and everything else. People don't usually see this if they're zoomed in, but here's this guy on top of the veterinary hospital sign. We'll grab him. The other thing too is when you're running at a lower resolution, your camera zoomed in a little more, it's harder to find. Here's another spot where a cat usually is, right in this corner above the uh, pound uh, back door, or whatever you want to call it here. And over here on this ledge is another one right here. Grab this guy. Bam. Completed a collection of 10, so got some experience. Here's another one's orange tabby, he's usually hiding up here. We'll grab him. Zing. Come over here real quick, show you a couple spots. Um, looks like this guy over here isn't here right now, but right on top of this bench right here, there's usually one. So that's another spot to look for. And right in the little niche right here is a white one that's usually there. He's not here right now. Um, let's see. The uh, Cheesy Charlies, there's usually a cat over here in the corner by the dumpster. We'll see if he's here today. Da, da. Hey, there he is. So we'll pick him up. Now I'm just, I'm having some luck here uh, finding some of these. I mean, some of these locations there hasn't been cats, but some of these I'm having better luck. Uh, this guy's not here. There's usually one right on top of the hood of the car right here. 
so we'll come back later, so hopefully he'll be there. When I take this route, I usually like to cut behind the uh, market here. And we'll see if there's a cat on the pet store sign. Ah, there is. Okay, so yeah. Top of the pet store sign. There's one right here. I'll grab him <coughs> at the pet store. That's it. Pet store. Pet store that sells the bunnies. The 9mm bunnies. The semi-automatic bunnies. And other fun little bunnies for you uh, Family Guy fans. Up here by the uh, sign right on this ledge right here is usually one. He's not here right now. We'll see if he's there later. Then behind Joe, there's usually one in the corner here. And here he is. We got him. See you later, Joe. I don't know why you're hanging out in front of the gay club, but well, whatever. We'll come over into this area. There's usually a black one that's hiding back here, right around where I'm standing. Looks like he's not here. So we will go to our next one by the car. And he's here, so we'll grab him. Things are like Easter eggs. I mean, they're very easy to miss. Um, but as long as you know where they are, they're a little bit easier to find. We'll grab this one on top of the uh, healthcare center. There's usually another one's hiding here right by City Hall behind this pillar. Sometimes he's there, sometimes he's not. There he is. Again, another one that's, you know, kind of like an Easter egg, very easy to miss. And this guy's right out in the open. Sometimes he's there, sometimes he's not, but uh, not too hard to find. One of the ones easy to miss is the one right up here. We're going to go up on top of the corner here, grab him. Bam. All right. So it thing is, yeah, if you know where the spawn points are for the cats, it's going to help you and go a long way. You're going to find these a lot easier versus, you know, before there's a lot of people that find areas where cats may be. They don't know that they're there because they don't know that they're looking for a spawn point or there is a spawn point. So here's another one up here. I'll grab this gray guy. And a lot of these locations, the cats will camouflage into the locations, except for this guy right here that's white on green. But like the last one and a few others, they'll usually blend into their locations, so they're a lot harder to find that way as well. See if this guy's on top of the shack. Looks like he's not today. But yeah, right on the corner of the shack, there's usually one right there. And I'm going to show you something with the shadows. I think they might have fixed that. Uh, so he's not there, so we'll keep looking. There's usually one above the uh, ledge where Brian is up here. And it looks like he is there, so we'll grab him. Amazing he's not uh, taunting Brian. Got him. Now some of the cats you can actually see from far away if you're really used to uh, what things look like. Like from right here, I can see that there's a cat on top of the fancy restaurant right here where my mouse is. Uh, goes goes creased up deaf guy um so when you get to know the layout of the town a little bit more you'll actually you know be familiar with how things should look and things like cats from far away will pop out a little bit easier got him see a flagpole cat is there flagpole cat is not there but there is usually one right there but that's okay because we're gonna get his friend across the street Right here, there's a corner behind the dome thing. We got him. Go around to the front of the theater here. There's usually one on top of the uh, front marquee. Not this one, but the next little theater thing. And I'll show you here in a second. Let's see. Yeah, so back up. Oh, okay, he's not there. But yeah, on the top left corner right here is usually one. And uh, see, we'll come back through here later, see if he pops up. Come down here to a uh, place and turn to the left. There's usually one in this corner right here. I'll show you. He is gone. Uh, so the next one's usually one on top of the roof over here, on top of the malt shop. Looks like he is gone right now. And this is the thing that really like makes it seem like cat finding is very difficult. Cause you'll hit a lot of these spots and you, it seems like there's no cats anymore. So it seems like it's very difficult to find. Um, this one is easy to miss because he hides in the grass and it's hard to see him. He bl blends in, but uh, not here now. We'll come back and see if he comes back later. Uh, usually on top of the uh, little pallet, whatever thing here, there's usually an orange one, I believe. Um, so I'm going to go back to our usual our route you saw me taking in the beginning. So you'll see me coming up on the uh, Quahog Market here. And we'll go back to see if our car cat is there. Um, you can see another example of being able to see him from far away, even the 
think. Lots of, yeah, car cat is here, so we will grab him off the hood and head back and grab that orange one that we saw a second ago. Give me a kitty, kitty, kitty. Gotcha. Cat's hanging out by Cheesy Charlie's. All right, so we'll go back, look for our orange cat on the roof, and hey, there he is. We'll grab him. I don't think he was here when I walked by last time, but now you can see what he looks like and where he's at. See if our white kitty is here, because that bench cat's gone. White cat's gone. Hopefully we will come across him. I'm going to double back here. And uh, corner kitty is back. Grab him. Get the camera angle right. There we go. And hospital cat's back. And that's the tough thing sometimes too, is you gotta get the camera angles right. When you are running at a higher resolution, you can see a lot of this stuff a lot easier. But when you're running at a lower resolution, um, the camera angles that are available to you, it's easy to miss them. Now this guy's back. Grab him. And I'm actually, uh, the resolution I'm running this is uh, 1440 by 900 on a uh, MacBook. Uh, so yeah, I have a little bit of trouble and have to zoom in and play at the camera angle sometimes to find these guys. But if you're running at a much uh, higher resolution like uh, 1080p on your, uh, your monitor, you should be okay. So let's see, air conditioner cat wasn't up there. And let's double back. Like I said, as long as you know where these spawn locations are, you can actually run through in a very short amount of time and find these guys. I mean, we've been looking for cats. Let's spawn back quickly. And that's another thing about the spawn points, too, is um, I, I can't verify for sure this is how it works, but the rumor is, is that there are spawn points that correspond with other spawn points across the city. So say you may pick up a cat on this side of town, go to the other side, and the other side of town where that location was where Joe was where there was a cat near him cat might spawn there and when you grab that cat he might cause the cat that's on the other side of the town to spawn again and here's the white cat I was trying to show you guys got him head back this way and another strategy for this too is if you're unsure of spawn and Mind you, this isn't all the spawn locations. This is a small fraction of the places the cat spawned. I'm just trying to show you some so you can kind of get an idea. Um, but they're all over town. I'm going to kind of along the outside of town, but they're all over the inside uh, of town as well. So, car cat. Um, but one of the other ways you can find other cats is to listen and look for people that you notice are actually grabbing cats as well. Um, follow them from a distance and see where they're going, where they're clicking, and it'll help you uh, find where the cats are located. This cat came back. I'll grab him. Glad that some of these other cats are showing up later in the video, so you guys know. Cause I feel terrible if I show you the spot and there's no cat there. Uh, one thing you guys will notice is that. Uh, Right now, about every 10 cats or so, I'm actually getting a pop-up, and it's giving me 150 experience. Um, I, I don't know if it's a bug or intentional right now, but the reason this is happening is because I've already collected all 100 cats for the Mega Collection. And what happens is every 10 cats you collect after the collection's complete, you get 150 experience for uh, the problem with this being, uh, depending on how you look at it, is um, I, right now when I started this video, I think I was level six. I'm already level eight, and I've been collecting cats for you know, 10, 12 minutes or so, and we've already collected a good 30 or 40 cats. Uh, so you can see, as long as you know where these cats are, it's easy to go through and complete this collection pretty quickly. Um, and then in addition, when you've done the collection, you've got it all over and done with. As long as this uh, bug feature, whatever you want to call it, is, isn't is fixed, uh, you can crank through gaining experience very quickly uh, after that's done. I don't know how much longer that's going to be open, but it's, uh, if you, you know, if 
hitting up the police station and going through that, that dungeon area or doing some of the other quests isn't your thing and you want to grab the, these cats after you grab the initial 100, uh, it's another way to burn through uh, level up to you know 12, which is the current cap right now as of this video, uh, very quickly. So as you can see, I think I've leveled up uh, one or two levels at least while we've been shooting this video. I'll grab a few more. Let's see if any of these other cats come back. Okay, yeah, corner cat here is back. I'll grab him. That's the one I was trying to show you. Buzz. And let's see if any of these other cats are back. Corner cat here is gone. The malt shop cat is there. Good times. Grab him real quick. I don't uh, mess with the cat the camera too much. Let's see if this cat is, uh, let's see. Let's see if he's here. He is here, and this is what I'm talking about. He's He can be hard to find. He's kind of hiding in the bushes here. It's very easy to miss him. But and I noticed that orange cat's there. I'm amazed that guy I didn't just grab him. I'll grab him. Usually at this point, I tend to double back, like you've noticed, and head back the other way. This is just the route I'm taking for this video, uh, but there are definitely other ones. Find your own routes, uh, find out what works for you, find other cat locations. Like I said, this is just a few of the cat locations that are around town. Um, just to give you a way to get started on this. Um, but I won't run this too much longer. But hopefully you guys have taken away some good spots to uh, get started on finding cats so you don't uh, give up too easily. They are out there. Even when the collections are glitched, knowing where these locations are uh, will help you a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm just burning through cats right now. This is awesome. Because even when it's glitched, there are some cats that will still appear. Just you might not see them as frequently as I'm seeing them right now. Um, and knowing a lot of these spawn points will help you all the better to complete that a lot quicker. And before I go, it looked like that cat was bound down by the uh, pound that I was talking about. There he is. We'll grab him. And there you go. So um, have fun looking for cats. And, uh, you know, if you find other cat spawn points you want to share with people or any tips things like that feel free to share them in the comments uh be sure to hit up fgoguide.com for any oh, grab this guy i didn't tell you guys about him really earlier um yeah hit up fgoguide.com share it with your friends bookmark it uh follow us on facebook there's the uh fgo guide uh facebook page as well as uh, FGO Guide on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash FGO Guide, and I'll put links in the comments, etc. But yeah, I hope that was awesome and helpful for you guys, and uh, I'll see you guys next video.